Hey joyous kids, welcome to another week of worship. Uh, we welcome you today and today's sermon is going to be about Jacob and Esau and how their relationship um, is something that we can learn about through God's word. And today we're going to talk about wisdom and how we should always pray to God to help make our decisions. Um, 안녕 joyous kids, 오늘도 uh, 예배 통해서 하나님 말씀을 배워볼 건데요. 오늘은 야곱과 에서의 이야기를 um, 읽어볼 건데 이 이야기를 통해서 어떻게 하나님한테 어, 도움을 청해야 되는지 그리고 하나님의 지혜를 왜 얻어야 되는지 그런 것을 배워볼 거예요. And before we start into worship and praise, um, we're gonna start off with a quick prayer. So if everyone can put your hands together, bow your heads and close your eyes, I'm gonna pray for you. Dear God, thank you so, so much for letting us worship today, Lord. And during this time, help us joy, joyous kids really feel your message and understand what you want to say to us, Lord. And through Amy Teacher's sermons and the craft and the joyous time that we will have today, may you bless us and heal us with your presence, Lord. 하나님 아버지 오늘도 예배할 수 있게 도와주셔서 감사합니다. 오늘의 이야기를 통해서 하나님의 어, 도움을 왜 청해야 되는지 그리고 하나님의 지혜가 얼마나 귀한지를 배울 수 있게 도와주세요. 어, 예배 통해서 하고 저의 삶을 통해서 만들기 시간을 통해서 하나님의 말씀을 좀더 가까이 배울 수 있게 도와주세요. And in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to pray. So have fun. It's everyone's favorite time, worship time. So I want everyone to get up, um, warm up your voice, because I know that you guys are going to go screaming today. Um, and I hope that we can all just worship the Lord together. Uh, 우리 이제 친구들이 제일 좋아하는 어, 촬영 시간이에요. 우리 일동해야 되니까 다들 자리에서 일어나고 우리 큰 소리로 같이 찬양해요. <웃음> Mountains high through the valleys low, God is good. Wherever we go, from the brightest days to the darkest nights, God is good all the time. Oh, oh, oh.
everyone's energy every week and I just love seeing you guys dance and sing for the Lord um, and at this time we're gonna do offerings I want everyone to settle down have a drink of water um, and then just have your heart ready for the Lord all right 우리 친구들 매주마다 이렇게 어, 너무 찬양을 잘하니까 하나님이 너무 기쁘시겠어요. 어, 이 시간에는 우리 이제 헌금할 거니까 다들 자리에 앉아서 어, 이제 하나님께 마음을 드립시다. to worship you Lord um, even though uh, not everyone could meet together to worship together um, please let every kid um, feel your blessings and love Lord um, at this time we're doing offering please bless these kids hearts and we hope that this offering can be used to glorify your kingdom and your name um, let us focus on your words today and help us to live according to your words every day Lord 아버지 오늘도 이렇게 좋은 날 모여서 다들 예배 드릴 수 있게 해주셔서 감사합니다. 어, 비록 모두가 다 같이 모여서 예배를 못 드릴지라도 어, 모든 아이들의 어, 마음에 하나님의 사랑과 축복으로 가득 찰수 있게 도와주세요. 어, 지금 이 시간에 헌금을 드립니다. 어, 우리 아이들의 마음을 어, 축복해 주시고 이 헌금이 하나님의 나라와 영광을 위해 쓰일 수 있게 도와주세요. 어, 오늘 설교도 잘 듣고 하나님의 말씀대로 살수 있게 도와주세요. Uh, we love you and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's Bible story is on Jacob and Esau. And before we start, we're going to read a passage from the Bible, which is from Genesis chapter 27, verse 1 through 4. And if you guys can tell, we've been focusing on Genesis for the past few weeks. So I hope that it's easier to find for you guys now. Um, I'll read it for you guys in English first and then in Korean. And if you guys don't have Bibles, you guys can just look up and read along, all right? 오늘 um, 야곱과 에서에 대해서 배우기 전에 성경책을 먼저 읽고 할 텐데 우리 창세기 27장 1절부터 4절을 먼저 읽고 시작할게요. 어, 우리가 창세기를 어, 몇주 동안 배우고 있는데 이제 창세기 찾기 어, 쉽길 바래요. 어, 선생님이 먼저 영어로 읽어준 다음에 한국말로 읽어줄게요. 그러면 따라 읽어주세요. Alright. When Isaac was old and his eyes were so weak that he could no longer see, he called for Esau, his older son, and said to him, My son, here I am, he answered. Isaac said, I am now an old man and don't know the day of my death. Now then, get your weapons, your creeper and bow, and go out to the open country to hunt some wild game for me. Prepare me the kind of tasty food I like and bring it to me to eat so that I may give you my blessing before I die. 이제 한국말로 읽어줄게요. 이삭이 나이가 많아 눈이 어두워 잘 보이지 못하더니 맏 아들 에서를 불러 이르되 내 아들아 아메 그가 이르되 내가 여기 있나이다 하니 이삭이 이르되 내가 이제 늙어 어느 날 죽을는지 알지 못하니 그런 즉내 기구 곧 화살통과 활을 가지고 들에 가서 나를 위하여 사냥하여 내가 즐기는 별미를 만들어 내게서 가져와서 먹게 하여 내가 죽기 전에 내 마음껏 내게 축복하게 하라. Amen. Alright, just like always, we're gonna start with some icebreakers before we start sermon today. And for today's icebreaker, I want you guys to imagine that you're the firstborn child in your family. Um, even if you guys are the youngest one or the middle child, just imagine for today that you are the firstborn child. And this means that you will get all the blessing and the inheritance from your parents 
and you guys have to decide whether you can give up this privilege over the pictures that I'm going to show you guys, okay? 오늘은 설교하기 전에 몸풀기로 시작할 텐데 우리 친구들은 오늘 어, 첫째라고 상상을 해봐야 돼요. 비록 지금 집에서 막내일지라도 오늘만 첫째라고 생각을 해보고 그 첫째로서의 그 특권은 모든 축복과 어, 아빠의 돈을 받을 수 있는 그 좋은 점이 있어요. 하지만 선생님이 이제 보여줄 사진들을 보고 나서도 이 특권을 포기할 수 있는지 없는지 알려주면 돼요. Alright, the first picture is all these fast food. So chicken, pizza, ramen, hamburger, and french fries. But first, you guys have to imagine that you're very hungry and you're starving. And right in front of you, you see all these food. Um, do you think that you can give up the privilege as the firstborn child over these food? 우리 첫 번째 사진은 엄청 맛있는 음식들이네요. 어, 근데 먼저 우리 친구들은 상상을 해봐야 돼요. 배가 엄청 고픈데 눈앞에 보이는 거는 치킨, 피자, 라면, 그리고 햄버거, 감자튀김 이런 게 보이는데 과연 우리 친구들은 이 음식을 포기할지 아니면 첫째로 태어난 그 특권을 포기할지 말해주면 돼요. You think you guys can give up or not? I'll hear the answer on Sunday, alright? 어, 우리 친구들이 포기할 수 있는지 없는지는 우리 주일날 같이 가서 얘기해 봐요. Alright, the second picture is all these chips and candy you guys might like. Um, do you guys think that you can give up these candies and chips over the privilege of the firstborn child or not? 두 번째 사진은 사탕과 어, 뭐, 과자들이네요. 우리 친구들이 좋아하는 과자들을 포기할 수 있어요? 아니면 어, 첫째로 받을 축복과 그 유산을 포기할 건가요? I'll leave the answer up to you guys. You guys can make the decision, alright? 어, 우리 결정은 우리 친구들이 하는 걸로 할게요. Alright, the last picture is soup. Okay, I know that some of you guys might not like soup, but let's see who likes soup. And can you guys give up your privilege as your as the firstborn child over soup or not? 우리 마지막 사진은 스프네요. 우리 좋아하는 친구도 있겠지만 안 좋아하는 친구들도 있을 건데 우리 친구들은 수프를 포기할까요? 아니면 첫째로 태어난 그 특권을 포기할까요? I'll leave the decisions up to you guys once again. 어, 우리 선택은 우리 친구들이 하게끔 할게요. Alright, just like how you guys had to make choices right now, um, we're gonna see what choices Jacob and Isa has to make and how those choices affect their life. Do you guys remember last week's story about Abraham and Sarah? Well, hopefully you guys remember that God gave Abraham a son named Isaac. And today's story continues on as Isaac grows up and marries a pretty lady named Rebecca. 우리 친구들은 저번 주에 배운 아브라함과 사라 이야기를 기억하나요? 하나님께서 아브라함에게 아들이 아들을 주셨는데 그 아들의 이름은 이삭이었죠. 어, 저번 주에 이어서 오늘의 이야기는 이삭이 커서 리브가라는 여자하고 결혼한 것부터 시작해요. One thing you guys should remember before we start this story is that ever since Abraham's time, um, God made a promise that about giving blessings and starting many nations, and that this promise would be passed down to every firstborn child. 어, 우리가 이삭에 대해서 배우기 전에 한 가지 기억할 점은 아브라함 시대 때부터 하나님은 약속을 하셨어요. 그 약속은 모든 집안의 첫 번째로 태어나는 아이에게 모든 축복과 나라들을 줄 거라는 약속이었어요. Once again, Rebecca couldn't have children just like Sarah, um, but Isaac had learned from his father that if he prayed, uh, maybe God will answer his prayer. So he prayed about uh, Rebecca being pregnant, and sure enough, God answered Isaac's prayer, and his wife became pregnant, and not just with one baby, but with twins. So two babies. Uh, 자, 이삭이 아, 어, 리브가랑 결혼을 했는데 
자기 엄마 사라처럼 리브가는 아이를 어, 임신하지 못하게 됐어요. 하지만 이삭이 크면서 어, 아빠를 보고 자라면서 어, 하나님께 언제나 기도하면 들어주실 거라는 믿음을 가지고 있었기 때문에 기도를 달라 어, 아이를 달라고 기도를 했죠. 그랬더니 기도를 들으신 하나님이 리브가를 임신하게 만드셨어요. 애가 하나가 아닌 둘을 주신 거죠. Do you guys know that babies move around inside your mommy's stomach when she's pregnant? Well, Rebecca also felt her babies moving, but the only problem was that she felt her babies moving too much. So she asked God, "Why is this happening to me?" 우리 친구들은 어, 엄마가 아기를 임신하게 되면 아기가 엄마 배 안에서 움직이는 거 아나요? 맞아요. 리브가도 아이들이 자기 뱃속에서 움직이는 걸 느꼈는데 어, 문제는 아이들이 뱃속에서 너무 많이 움직이니까 리브가는 하나님께 물어봤어요. 어, 저에게 무슨 일이 일어나는 거예요? Uh, she was worried about how they were moving so much inside of her. Um, so God answered her saying, Your children are very different from one another. One of your children will lead a group of people stronger than the other one, and the oldest child will serve the younger one. 리브가는 뱃속에 아이들이 너무 움직이니까 걱정을 하기 시작했어요. 그랬더니 하나님께서 말씀을 하셨죠. 너의 아이들은 어, 많이 다르다. 너의 아이 중한 명은 많은 사람들을 이끌 것이고 첫째로 나오는 아이가 두 번째 나오는 아이를 위해 일할 거라고 말씀하신 거죠. Um, this was a little bit strange because usually if you're the oldest one in the family, um, the younger brother or sister looks up to them or wants to do what the oldest one is doing. But no, not in this case. The older brother would have to work for the younger brother in this story. 여기서 잠깐, 이거 진짜 이상하지 않아요? 원래라면 동생이 형을 어, 존경해야 되고 형을 본받아야 되는데 어, 오늘 이야기에서는 아니에요. 왜냐하면 오늘은 반대로 형이 동생을 위해 일을 해야 되, 됐어요. When the twins were born, the first and the oldest child was named Isa. Isa was very easy to remember because he was red and had hair all over his body. Right after him came Jacob, um, the second son. 그 쌍둥이가 태어났을 때첫 번째로 태어난 아이의 이름은 에서였어요. 에서는 기억하기 쉬운 게 몸이 빨갰고 온 몸에 털이 많았어요. 그두 번째로 태어난 아들의 이름은 야곱이었어요. And as the boys got older, they liked to do different things. So Isa was good at hunting and he loved doing things outside so he was very active. So Isaac, his father, loved him more. On the other hand, Jacob liked to stick around home and he liked to do things on his own. So Rebecca, his mom, loved him more. Uh, 에서와 야곱은 점점 크면서 uh, 다른, 다른 걸 하는 걸 좋아했어요. 에서는 밖에서 사냥하는 걸 좋아했고 uh, 야곱은 집에서 하는 걸 좋아했기 때문에 엄마인 리브가가 야곱을 더 사랑했고 밖에서 사냥하고 뛰어다니는 걸 좋아했던 에서는 아빠가 더 좋아했죠. Um, because Jacob stayed at home a lot, he learned how to cook from his mom. And so one day he made a soup that everyone loved. And Isa was outside hunting ever since the early morning. So he was very starving and hungry. And um, he could smell this uh, tasty soup from all the way out there. 야곱은 집에 있는 시간이 많았기 때문에 엄마한테 요리하는 걸 배웠어요. 오늘 그래서 어느 날 야곱이 엄청 맛있는 수프를 만들고 있었을 때 에서는 아침부터 사냥하고 돌아오는 길이었어요. 어, 에서는 많이 지치고 배고플 때그 맛있는 수프 냄새가 코에 들어온 거예요. So as soon as Isa got home, he asked Jacob, Quick, let me have some of your stew. I'm starving. But Jacob replied, First, give me your birthright. 에서가, 에서가 집에 도착하자마자 야곱에게 소리쳤어요. 야, 빨리 수프 한 접시만 줘. 나 너무 배고파. 하지만 이거를 기회를 잡은 야곱은 이렇게 말했어요. 
그럼 먼저 형의 장자의 명분을 줘. Wait a minute. You guys are probably wondering what a birthright is, right? Well, Jacob and Issa's family believe that the oldest child should get double of all the things uh, that their father would leave behind. You guys can think of it like inheritance, like money or the animals on the farm. 자, 여기서 잠깐. 우리 친구들은 지금 장자의 명분이 뭔지 다 궁금하지 않아요? 어, 이걸 쉽게 말해서 나중에 아빠가 죽으면 남길 돈이나 동물을 받을 수 있는 권리였죠. Um, so when Jacob asked for Issa's birthright, Issa should have said, No way, that's something special from God. Um, I need to use it because it's a very special gift that I received from God. 어, 그래서 야곱이 그 장자를 달라고 했을 때 애서는 싫어, 절대 안 돼. 이거는 하나님께서 나에게 주신 특별한 선물이니까 잘 간직하고 있어야 돼. 라고 말했어야 됐는데 Instead, Isa could only think about how, how hungry he was. So instead he said, Yes, yes, you can have all on my birthright. Just give me some of your soup right now. I'm starving. 하지만 에서는 배가 너무 고팠기 때문에 다른 걸 생각하지 못하고 그래, 너가 가져. 다 빨리 내가 굶, 굶어 죽기 전에 스프를 빨리 줘. 라고 말을 했어요. By choosing food over his birthright, Isa did a bad thing. He made a decision that he could never change and disappointed God by not seeing the importance of a special gift that he would later um, regret um, choosing a silly bowl of soup over his birthright. 어, 첫째 권리를 음식 때문에 포기한 에서는 잘못된 선택을 한 거예요. 에서는 평생 못 바꿀 선택을 했고 하나님께서는 그것을 실망하셨죠. 왜냐하면 하나님께서 주신 특별한 선물을 아무렇지 않게 줘버렸다는 사실에 하나님은 실망을 하셨죠. Well, today's story isn't over yet. 오늘 이야기는 여기서 끝나지 않아요. Isaac was getting old and he wasn't able to see anymore. So he wanted to give his oldest um, and his favorite son, Isa, his blessing before he died. This blessing was special, just like I said in the beginning. Um, like it was a promise from God uh, that was passed out ever since Abraham's time. So it was very important. 어, 이삭은 이제 나이가 너무 많아서 앞이 보이질 않았어요. 그래서 죽기 전에 자기가 제일 사랑하는 첫째 아들한테 축복을 해주고 싶었죠. 어, 근데 선생님이 벌써 앞에 말했듯이 이 축복은 오래전부터 하나님께서 주신 축복과 약속이었기 때문에 아주 중요한 거였어요. Isaac always loved the food that Isa made after he hunted, so he asked Isa to go hunt and prepare him a special meal for him, so he can give him the blessing afterwards. Isaac은 에서가 만들어준 음식을 언제나 좋아했기 때문에 에서한테 가서 어, 음식을 만들어오면 축복을 준다고 했죠. Rebecca overheard Isaac talking to Isa and went, hmm. Then rushed to tell her favorite son, the youngest one, Jacob, and she told him, Your father is about to give Esau all his blessing, and I want you to have it instead. So you need to go get me two goats, and I will prepare the meal just like Isaac likes it, and you, could, you can go take this food to him, and he will give you the blessing instead. 그 이야기를 옆에서 엿들은 리브가는 빨리 제, 자기... 가 제일 사랑하는 막내 아들 야곱한테 달려갔어요. 그러고는 이렇게 말했죠. 지금 너희 아버지께서 에서한테 축복을 하신다고 했어. 하지만 너가 대신 가서 그 축복을 받아와. 그러니까 빨리 염소 두 마리를 가져오면 엄마가 맛있게 음식을 해줄 테니까 그 음식을 가지고 아버지를 보러 가. Jacob replied, But mom, Isa has hair all over his body, but I don't. What if dad touches me and finds out I'm tricking him? 야곱은 이렇게 말했어요. 하지만 엄마, 에서의 몸은, 몸에는 털이 엄청 많은데 전 털이 없어요. 아빠가 저를 만져서 에서가 아니라는 걸 아시면 어떡해요? His mom told him, 
don't worry. You can wear Issa's clothes and I'll put um some goat hair on your hand on your and on your neck. So he'll never know. 하지만 리부가는 아들한테 걱정 마. 너, 너가 애서의 옷을 입을 거고, 목하고 손에는 털을 붙여줄 테니까 아버, 아버지는 절대 모르실 거야. So they did that and Jacob went to go see his father pretending to be Issa. Then he said, Hello, father. 몸에 털을 붙이고, 야곱은 아버지를, 음, 애서인 척 하면서 갔죠. 그러고 아버지한테 말했죠. 안녕하세요, 아버지. Hello, and who is this? His father asked. 그래, 넌 누구니? 이삭이 물어봤어요. It is me, Isa. I have brought you the food that you asked, and I am here to get your blessing, Jacob lied. 저의 아버지에서 축포 받으려고 아버지가 말씀하신 대로 음식을 가져왔어요. 라고 야곱이 거짓말을 했죠. Come closer so I can touch you and know that you are truly my oldest son, Isa, said his father. 네가 에서인지 아닌지 가까이 와서 만져볼 테니 이리 가까이 와봐라, 라고 이삭이 말을 했어요. So Jacob went to Isaac and Isaac felt his hand and said, You sound like Jacob, but your hands are just like Isa. Are you really Isa? 그래서 야곱이 더 가까이 가서 이삭의, 이삭은 야곱의 손을 만져봤어요. 그러고 말씀하셨죠. 목소리는 야곱 같지만 손은 에서이구나. 너는 정말 에서이니? And Jacob lied again. I am. 야곱은 또한번 거짓말을 했죠. 네 아버지, 저는 에서예요. So Isaac ate the food and after he finished, he said, Come and kiss me. When Jacob went up to kiss him, Isaac smelled um, the clothes that he was wearing just to make sure one more time. And it smelled like Isa because Jacob was wearing Isa's clothes, remember guys? And so his father believed that he was with Isa and gave the blessing to Jacob instead. 그래서 이삭이 음식을 다 먹고 어, 나에게 와서 뽀뽀를 해달라고 했어요. 왜냐면 한 번만 더 체크를 하고 싶었죠. 어, 야곱이, 야곱은 아버지한테 뽀뽀하러 다가갔을 때 어, 이삭은 한번 냄새를 맡았죠. 근데 야곱은 애서의 옷을 입, 입고 있었기 때문에 어, 아버지는 애서의 냄새를 맡았고 애서인지 알고 야곱한테 축복을 대신 주게 되었어요. Just as Jacob finished getting the blessing, he thought that he heard Isa coming back. So he quickly left uh, out of the tent through the back. Uh, just as he was walking away, Isa entered the tent with the food that he prepared for his father. 야곱이 축복을 다 받은 참에 에서가 돌아오는 소리를 들었어요. 그러자 빨리 뒤로 나갔죠. 그 후에 에서는 음식을 들고 다시 아버지를 찾아온 거죠. His father asked, Who are you? 이삭은 혼란에 빠지면서 물어봤죠. 넌 누구니? It's me, your son, Isa. I'm here to get my blessing, Isa said, confused. 에서는 당황하면서 말을 했어요. 저의 아버지, 에서 축복을 받으러 왔어요. Huh? What? I just gave you my blessing. And Isaac started to realize that he had been tricked just like he thought. And Isa started to cry and said, Bless me too, father. 이삭은 뭐라고? 근데 나는 너에게 지금 축복을 해줬잖아. 라고 말했어요. 그때 이삭은 알았죠. 에서가 아닌 야곱한테 축복을 해주었다는 걸요. 진실을 알게 된 에서는 소리를 치면서 외쳤어요. 아버지 저도 축복해 주세요. However, um, since the father could only bless once, he said, there are no more blessings left. 하지만 축복을 한 번밖에 못 해주는 어, 이삭은 미안하다 아들아, 더 이상의 축복은 없다 라고 말을 할 수밖에 없었어요. Isa was very upset with his brother Jacob for what he had done. So he ha Jacob had to run away to be safe. 에서는 야곱한테 바, 화가 너무 많이 났기 때문에 어쩔 수 없이 야곱은 멀리 떠나가 있어야 됐었어요. What a story, right? Both brothers did things that they shouldn't have done and they made bad choices that they could never change. 
That's why we have to be careful with the choices we make because you never know what, how they will come back and how they will change your life later on. Wow, today's story is very interesting. 두 형제들은 하면 안 되는 것을 했고 다시는 못 바꿀 선택들도 했죠. 야곱과 에서의 이야기를 통해 우리 친구들은 한 가지를 기억했으면 좋겠어요. 어 그게 뭐냐면 우리가 살면서 좋은 선택을 하면서 살아야 돼요. 왜냐하면 그 선택이 나중에 어떻게 돌아올지 모르니까 우리는 하나님께 기도하면서 바른 선택을 하면서 살아요. Jacob and Esau. So part of God's story is about twin brothers, and it begins like this. Once, there were twins named Jacob and Esau, and they didn't get along. They actually started fighting before they were born. Then during birth, Esau came out first, but Jacob was holding on to his heel. That's not normal. And they even look different. The Bible says Esau's body was covered in so much red hair, it was almost like he had clothes on. Jacob's skin was smooth. Well, they got even more different as they grew up. Esau hunted animals and spent time outside. Their dad, Isaac, was a big meat eater, so Esau was his favorite. Jacob, on the other hand, was a quiet guy who liked to stay indoors. Their mom, Rebecca, liked Jacob the best. The Bible doesn't talk much about Jacob and Esau as kids, but we do know Esau was lucky to be the oldest because he had what's called a birthright. That meant Esau would be in charge of their family, including all their money, land, and stuff. Jacob would probably have to work for his brother Esau, and their dad Isaac would give Esau a blessing, which means Isaac would ask God to take care of his oldest son Esau in an extra special way. Well, you probably think Esau was pretty excited about this, but he wasn't. In fact, one day he gave it up. He just returned from a hunting trip. Since he was out killing animals all day, he didn't have time to eat. He came home starving. Jacob was making stew, so Esau said, Quick, give me some of that stew. I'm very hungry. Now, Jacob was a little sneaky, so he didn't just share the stew with his hungry brother, which would have been nice. Instead, he said, First, sell me your birthright. And guess what? Esau said yes. It's a little like paying a million dollars for a bowl of mushy soup. We don't know why Esau did that. But the Bible says he didn't care about the birthright. But later, when Isaac was really old and about to die, he wanted to ask God to take special care of his firstborn Esau. So he told Esau to go hunting and make him some tasty food, maybe for the last time. Now, Esau wanted the birthright, so he left right away to hunt. Meanwhile, Rebecca had heard Isaac and Esau talking, and remember, Jacob was her favorite. She wanted him to get the blessing, so she did something really sneaky. She told Jacob, I will prepare tasty food for your father. You take it to your father to eat. Then he'll give you his blessing before he dies. See, Isaac was blind. She was telling Jacob to pretend he was Esau. But there was a slight problem with her plan. First off, Esau was hairy. So if Isaac touched Jacob's smooth skin, he would know the truth. The Bible says Esau had a certain smell too, which might be a polite way of saying he stunk. I mean, imagine how smelly a guy would be if he was always sweating and getting dead animal blood stuck on his clothes and matted in his hairy skin. And this was before deodorant. So even though Isaac was blind, he might smell Jacob or touch his smooth arm and know the truth. Well, Rebecca was sneaky, like Jacob. She told Jacob to put sheepskin on his arms and wear some of Esau's smelly clothes. Now Isaac would never know. And even though Isaac wondered why the voice sounded like Jacob, guess what? The trick worked. Jacob got the blessing. Now Esau would have to work for him. As you might imagine, Esau was furious. In fact, Rebecca had to help Jacob run away so Esau wouldn't kill him. What's really crazy about this story is Jacob messed up big time but he really did get God's blessing. Esau even forgave him later. We don't know why God let this happen, but the truth is we all mess up sometimes, and God still wants us to be part of his story. And that's the story of Jacob and Esau. All right, the three key concepts that we should remember from today's Bible story is, number one, we should always go to God for help. Number two, being with God is the key to peace and wisdom. Number three, God is able to use even men's wrong choices to fulfill his word. 우리 오늘 말씀을 통해 딱세 가지 기억할 점은 첫 번째, 우리는 언제나 하나님께 도움을 구해야 돼요. 
두 번째, 하나님과 함께 라면 평화 지혜를 얻어요. 세 번째, 우리가 잘못을 해도 하나님께서는 우리를 사용하실 거예요. I just wanted to share a verse with you guys since it summarizes our past, uh, our Bible story from today. And I just thought it would be nice. And so it comes from Philippians chapter 4, 6 through 7. And it goes like, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and mind as you live in Jesus Christ. 우리 오늘 어, 설교를 마치기 위해 기도하기 전에 어, 선생님이 이 말씀을 하나 읽어주고 싶어요. 이 말씀은 빌립보서 4장 6절에서 7절 말씀인데 오늘 설교하고 너무 잘 맞아서 한번 읽어줄게요. 아무것도 걱정하지 말라. 모든 일을, 일들을 기도하라. 하나님께 감사하며 필요한 게 있으면 구하라. 그러면 하나님의 평화를 느끼며 모든 것을 이해할 수 있느니라. 예수 안에서 살면 하나님의 평화가 너의 마음과 생각을 지키시리라. 어, 한국말로 읽어줬을 때는 성경책에서 바로 나온 게 아니고 조금 쉽게 써줬으니까 어, 그거를 알고 있, 있으면 좋겠어요. Alright, I just hope that we um, hold on to this word this week and I hope that you guys can live according to the word. Okay, now I'll pray for the sermon. So I want everyone to have their hands together and close your eyes. 어, 이제 선생님이 설교를 마치기 위해 기도할 거니까 다들 손 모으고 눈 감아줬으면 좋겠어요. All right, um, dear Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for letting us gather here today to learn about Jacob and Esau. Um, Lord, we cannot go a day without you, and we need you more than yesterday and every step of our ways. Um, give us knowledge every day so that we can make the right decision and glorify your name. Um, thank you for always loving us and calling us your children. 아, 하나님 아버지 오늘도 이렇게 모여 야곱과 에서에 대해서 배울 수 있게 해주셔서 감사합니다. 어, 하나님 저희는 하루도 하나님 없이는 못 갑니다. 저희는 어제보다 오늘 하나님이 더 필요하고 우리가 가는 곳마다 하나님을 느낄 수 있게 도와주세요. 우리가 매일매일 살 때에 바른 세, 차, 선택을 할수 있게 지혜를 주셔서 우리가 더욱 하나님을 높일 수 있게 도와주세요. We love you and in Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to do the Lord's Prayer now, so you guys can choose um, if you want to do it in English or Korean, and just follow after me, all right? 우리 이제 주기도문 할 건데, 영어가 편하면 영어로 하고, 한국말이 편하면 한국말로 하면 돼요. 그럼 이제 선생님하고 같이 하, 주기도문 합시다. All right, three, two, one. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and help us to forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and power and glory forever. Amen. Alright guys, this isn't the end of worship. Uh, just so you guys know, we still have joyous time and craft ready for you guys. So I hope that everyone can join us on Zoom now and have another fabulous time together. Alright, 우리 이게 예배가 끝난 게 아니고 어, 조이스 타임과 만들기 시간이 아직 준비되어 있기 때문에 우리 조금 있다가 볼 거니까 줌으로 다시 봐요. I'll see you guys very soon. 우리 금방 다시 만나요. Worthy.